What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, uh, WNBA star Brittany Griner, who's 31 years old, has been detained over in Russia for maybe going on two months now. And um, it was announced that her detainment will be extended for another month. And most people believe that a trial is inevitable. The trial is soon to be held as far as her fate. Now, if I remember correctly, she was found to have drug paraphernalia, I believe it was marijuana, on her at the airport. Russia has far stricter drug laws than the United States, and the penalty for her violation could be up to 10 years. Now, there are some who believe that the Russian government may be willing to make an exchange of Brittany Griner for a Russian man being held, uh, I believe, held in the United States for, I believe, it's drug trafficking. So that's a distinct possibility that may be some type of exchange. I've already made my feelings about this well known. Now, some people are saying, they're making her out to be a feminist hero, saying, like, you know, if she was a woman, excuse me, if she was a man and not a woman, there'd be a lot more press coverage of this. And I think that's probably true. If she were a black man, however, I think that the obvious would be stated. There would be a lot of people lecturing him, saying, you knew the laws, obey the laws, blah, 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 blah. Right? They'll be on that shit. Well, he should have known uh, the laws and, you know, he's a drug offender and uh, they've totally been criminalizing him. No empathy whatsoever. So I hate to be this way, but at the same time, you know, this is the thing. And I, I just keep going back to this. You have to know the laws and customs of countries that you visit. Every place is not the United States. First of all, a lot of countries have a disdain for Americans anyway. A lot of people find us loud, obnoxious. Um, we're, some countries, you know, some people even think that we're ignorant because we feel like everybody should be speaking English. We're, we're very, you know, just by the nature of our country, the greatest country on earth and the number one superpower, we have a, a, a we, we tend to think that we are above other people, other customs, other countries in there, you know, our way is the right way. That annoys a lot of people from other countries. Um, and look, their drug laws are a lot stricter. That's something that she should have known. I mean, I would think she would have known that, but she thought she could get away with it, and, and it backfired on her. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to make her out to be no goddamn martyr. I'm not making her out to be some political figure. She's a basketball player that got caught doing some dumb shit. And then... To make it worse, you go over there. And I understand that these WBA players don't make the same money that NBA players make. But I did see that she made a quarter of a million dollars. Right? And, um, you know, at the end of the day, that may not be enough money for her, for her lifestyle or whatever. So she went over and played overseas. But why in the world would you go to Russia at this time? With all of the tensions between Russia and Ukraine and all of the bullshit is going on. Why would you go over there now? So look, you know, at the end of the day, I just, it is what it is for me. I also saw something, I saw an article referring to her as the greatest female basketball player of all time. Look, <clears throat> uh, I saw Cheryl Swoops. Um, and over her, I saw Cheryl Miller. To me, Cheryl Miller is the greatest basketball field player of all time. And it is what it is. You know, Cheryl Miller is the greatest. 
Cheryl Swoops is right up there. You know, uh, Cynthia Cooper was magnificent. Uh, Brittany, Gr- Gr- Brittany Griner, she's okay. She's great, but, you know, fuck that. But anyway, I don't give a fuck. I just said that before, and I'll continue saying it. I just don't give a fuck, man. We have a lot of our own problems over here. Um, people massacring us left and right, and people acting like it's some type of political, uh, you know, uh, political game or what have you. That they're playing with the other side, and I got no time for this dumb shit, man. Right? 